I'm just going on my bike and something interesting happened because my backlight doesn't work I don't have a new backlight and yeah I don't have a backlight so suddenly a car stops next to me normal car and a guy says hey your backlight isn't working and I look at him and he's like a police officer probably I mean he had a police uh, suit on and I I'm t telling him yes uh, I know <laughs> and he you know what was his answer he said hmm I wouldn't ride my bike then if the police is near and I'm like okay <laughs> but he was a police officer so I went down from my bike waited until they were gone and I'm keeping go keep on going but then I thought hmm as I told you yesterday uh, being on my bike I'm probably one of the most fragile uh, people around in the traffic maybe I should have told him this that it's actually why I mean why do I need a backlight if I get hit from my back it's my risk so I'm only putting myself at risk here no one else and I'm doing it consciously so interesting law actually that bike riders need backlights maybe I should have told him that <laughs> maybe not hey guys welcome to the seabird vlog I have a problem with WordPress maybe you can help me the problem is as follows I've built up a homepage with WordPress. So I have on a server um, the WordPress page by company one. When I um, did this before, I had by the same company, I also bought the do domain .at or something. I bought it, connected it to WordPress and it worked. Today, I have a different problem because I've built WordPress with company one, but I have a domain with company two. So there is the domain at company two. And if I now connect them, the whole thing doesn't work. So if I uh, go into the settings, normally I would go into the settings and change the URL and the address. to domain.at and do the same here. This is what I, what I did every time and it worked fine while doing it at, with the same company. So that I get, I don't know, domain.at slash, I don't know, uh, info or something. That I get beautiful domains. When I do this now, the whole site crashes and it must have something to do that I'm having the domain bought at a different company. Do you know what's the problem and how can I solve this? I don't know why. Thanks guys. Good news. I found a solution to the problem. If you know a lot about WordPress and about domain pointing and so on, you might think I'm crazy and this was the worst solution, but it worked. I had to work three hours. What I did was I just transferred from company one, the WordPress page to company two and then connected them. And if you do it from the same company, it usually works. That was a lot of work because the WordPress import and export doesn't work at all. I don't know why. It took me three hours, but now it works. All right. Going to the event about the, the Russian education system, but before I'm meeting my brother.
Okay, a few thoughts about the economy. Because I was just going on my bike and going by a big school and I was thinking, hmm, should I have, should I regret or have a bad feeling about me working so less? You know, when I went to school or when I went to university, life was very, very stressful, very stressful and you get like educated for stressing yourself and having a stressful life and as you all know i'm not working too much at the moment so my life is not stressful at all which is good but then again my life also is not sustainable because i don't have an income i could only survive those uh, payments because robert uh, sent me some money so yeah my income is not sustainable at all at the moment which of course brings me to the thought okay we need a certain amount of work to sustain our lifestyle individually and also as a society of course if i want to have a car i need to afford this car i need to pay for it if i want to have an apartment i need to pay for it someone build up this whole house i need to pay him if I want to eat something, someone produces the food and so on. And I have to give something back in our economy. I don't get it as a gift. The amount of work which I got to give for receiving everything for my lifestyle is depending on, well, supply and demand. But as you know, supply and demand is a very vague uh, theory. What does it mean? It means that if you give something you want to have the highest price or at least the price you're satisfied with you want to get the amount of money most of the people will take the most where do you get a job where you're satisfied and where you earn the most and where do you buy your stuff most of the time there where you have to pay the least price so that's the demand side you want to pay not much at least uh, so how much do i have to work depends on how big the price is i can get on my work of course and how much i have to pay for the goods and services i want to consume and this is depending on for example i don't know the oil price if the one who the one the, the countries who produce the oil want to have more money they can set a higher price if there is no competition but the price can't be too high that no one buys it anymore so let's get back to my beginning question the amount of stress we are putting on ourselves and the amount of stress we are putting on ourselves as a society depend of course also on our lifestyle and here in Austria, we are working a lot and we are also having a really, really, really good lifestyle. And it also depends on the question. Ah! As you can see, I'm already at my brother's place. It depends also on the question, how much we wanna take part in progress, of course, and how good we can market ourselves and how high we can make the price of our work and of our products so yeah those were a few thoughts about stress on my way to this Russian education thing. Okay guys, I've met Helmut here and it's after the event, everybody's gone and Helmut wants to summarize in a few sentences what we have experienced here today. Helmut. Hello. 
Welcome to the Zebra Vlog. <laughs> it is a pleasure for me to see myself now in this video because I'm a follower of yours. And um, what we heard today is that um, we got an insight in the Russian pedagogic and it's far beyond what we think that was happening in Russia the last 100 years. And there were a lot of cool guys doing a lot of cool pedagogic stuff. And uh, to summarize it, uh, it's first you have to give the kids a vision, give them inspiration. Then you have to give them a certain structure within they have their own responsibility. And at the end, you will get the creativity you need to build a better world. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, let's go home. Ah, oh, that was really a cool event again. There's so many optimistic and entertaining and cool events and cool people and good things happening in Vienna. But I admit they are sometimes hidden. You don't see them, obviously. I'm going home and gonna cut this vlog for you looking forward to seeing you tomorrow see you guys to tell you is the events which are gonna take place today for you when you're watching this and first of all today on Friday is Winter AD Fest in Perpetu Mobile starting at 4 o'clock in the afternoon in the vegan food cope in the Perpetu Mobile Geibelgasse 23 in the 15, 15th district starting at 4 and at 7 o'clock there is gonna play uh, one of our one of my friends from the community project Duda Relups is gonna play with his band there at 7 in the Food Cope Perpetuum Mobile Geibelgasse 23 sounds interesting next event also today, starting at 7 on the 26th, is Was ist ein Autor? Was ist eine Autorin? Halt's Maul und Schreib. Abseits des Werks und seit ab der Literaturwissenschaft sprechen ein paar Leute über ihre lebendige Arbeit, die vielseitige Lust am Text und die Herausforderungen dieses des unordentlichen Alltags zu funktionieren. Im Depot im 7. Bezirk. In a Depot in the 7th District. What is an author? Sounds quite interesting. And the 30 band which cost 30 euros is I got invited to a drawing course, instructed life drawing session with model, three hour pose, starting at 7.30 in the May Fine Art Studio in the Hartgasse 19, Hartgasse 19 in the 19th district. You find those events on Facebook the first one was Winter AD. The second one is Was ist ein Autor? And the third one is Instructed Life Drawing Session. All those events I'm gonna link in the, district, in the description if I don't forget. And please, reminder, tomorrow on Saturday is the Gift Economy Convention. So see you at one of those events, maybe.